What's going on? Just trying to fit all this stuff under the hood of the JL. Somebody conveniently put a V8 engine in it, and uh, now we got two batteries, and we got a couple of S pods, and we gotta find a way to make all this fit. We got clearance from Miles. See if you can get a picture of the battery down there. Um. We need a landing platform for the two S-Pods. So I think I'm gonna work off of these two points right here and just do a simple little hanging platform. And we'll raise these guys up, we'll run the wires underneath them, and it shouldn't be too tough to get to the fuse box if you need to. I mean, there should be enough tools in this truck to get to it if, if it gets really bad. But uh, yeah, this might be a one-off, might be a two-off. We're currently checking out the Dream Garage Giveaway Jeep and things are progressing nicely on it. A couple of little loose ends to button up, lots of aftermarket lights and stuff like that. And uh, my buddy Jake here is steadfastly working on it. Yep, getting this S-Pod in here, trying to situate that over the battery. And we got to tie that all in under the hood and then send it up into the cabin so the driver has control. I am finishing the Air blasters, train horn, or horn blasters kit, essentially, on this uh, new little GMC Denali. And hopefully in about a half an hour or so, this thing will be really loud. That's sensual. All right. I am currently uh, making a set of AC lines for our 2018 SEMA JL. It's going to take some of the factory components with our um, components we buy and build and make a new set for our new layout. Yeah, now we're going to make some tabs for some rock lights that we're going to install in the bed of the JL through so we can see what we're doing when it's dark out. Just drawing and cutting. Anybody can be a fabricator. <laughs> no, not really. I can't weld, I'm not a fabricator. I can just draw. We started with some chicken scratch. We put it into the magic box over here and we have our finished results sitting on the table, ready to go. Let's see how we do. We got our flat material. Let's bend it. Let's go see if it fits. Cross your fingers. <laughs> All right. We're really close. We're only off like a little bit. So the scrambler behind me here was fully disassembled. The guys repainted these Dynatrack axles. They repainted all of these aftermarket control arms, and they're putting everything back together now to send it over to our assembly side and get the whole thing rewired by Matt. These are what you call a U-bolt strap, and they hold drive shafts in, so we're gonna flip those in the holes in there. Sometimes it's like a relay race around here and you gotta hand the baton off to somebody else. Right now the baton's been handed to me on the scrambler and now I have to hand the baton to somebody else in the JL. So we have our harnesses laid out and they're gonna get to be ready to be put in the scrambler here shortly. Yeah. 